while your hair is still thinning, even though you're taking vitamins. So you've been taking vitamins, you're drinking your water, you're doing everything that you can. Your hair is still shedding, it's still breaking, it's still thin. So the root cause isn't a vitamin deficiency. Hair loss can be related to hormonal imbalance, inflammatory issues with the scalp, or stress related. So if you know that you're taking everything that you can, vitamin B, um, biotin, you're taking vitamin D, and you're still experiencing hair thinning, then listen to this. Let's dive into it. So if you have low iron, so low ferritin means iron, low iron storage. So ferritin must be at op optimal levels for the hair to grow. So for example, if you're anemic or you notice that when you have your menstrual cycle, you feel weaker around that time, then you may, you know, have low iron, maybe just go get checked, uh, get your blood checked in terms of if you have low iron or not, because this can be affecting your hair growth. If you have normal iron, then you will notice that your hair growth will be normal. And then number three would be poor absorption. So gut issues, they limit nutrient intake. So if you have issues with your gut, that will also be affecting why your hair is thinning or you're having you know a stunted growth because the gut believe it or not so an imbalanced gut does affect your hair growth and number four would be hormonal imbalance i talked about this on previous videos so if you're going through perimenopause if you're going through postpartum all of these issues affect your hair and that's probably why your hair is thinning so an estrogen decline affects the hair follicles hair density and the hair growth cycle. So what are your estrogen levels? This definitely will affect your hair growth and thinning. Number five could be chronic stress or high cortisol. So if you're going through a very stressful time right now and you notice changes in your hair, that's probably why. Okay. So don't panic. Number six is inflammation in the scalp. If your scalp is not healthy. So if you don't have a healthy scalp microbiome, obviously this will affect your hair growth and it will you know, affect thinning, patches, breaking, and all of those hair issues. And then number seven, protein deficiency. Are you eating enough protein? Hair is made out of protein, not vitamins. So you need to make sure that you don't have a protein deficiency in your diet because this can also cause hair thinning and hair loss. Eight is over supplementation, believe it or not. So too much vitamin A, too much biotin can actually trigger shedding. Uh, I know that sounds crazy, but you don't wanna overdo it when you are taking supplements because supplements cannot replace if you are example having stress if you're on medication it can just and it, it cannot replace a, a, a unhealthy hair care routines so or not washing your hair not keeping your scalp clean supplements cannot replace this and then number 9 the hair growth cycle is interrupted if your hair growth follicles they stay in the telogen or the, or the resting phase um, growth resumes only when the cycle resets so if you learned anything from this video if it was helpful to you i would love to hear from you leave me a comment